picked up this Falcon miniature. It's a little point and shoot medium format camera for about $20 US. A fun little camera and if you like vintage cameras, stick around because we're going to review this camera. I shot a roll so hopefully you'll enjoy those pictures. Back when it was sold it said it's uh, $3.98 and it says it takes 16 pictures <laughs> suitable for good enlargements. Now what does a good enlargement mean back in 1940? It basically means three by four inches which is not very big and based on the pictures I took I would say yeah you don't want to blow these up very big because they're very blurry. Okay let's get into it. So the directions don't give any specifications at all but let's go over quickly the, um, the specs of this camera. So according to my research shutter speed of uh, 1 25th of a second although I don't think it's quite that fast probably closer to 1 60th or, or 1 80th not real sure. The f-stop is about f9. It's about the same size as an f9 in my other 50 millimeter lenses. It's a half frame, 127 half frame. So you're going to shoot it vertically and you get a horizontal picture. Okay. Since it's half frame, you get uh, 8 times 2 would be 16. So you get 16 photos uh, per roll of 127. And the frame size is, uh, looks like 32 by, about 32 by 42 millimeters. In inches. What is that in inches? Inches, it's uh, inch and a quarter by inch and five eighths. Here's a side by side comparison to a 35 millimeter negative. You can see that this 127 half frame is not much bigger than a 35 millimeter negative. Uh, 50 millimeter lens. The crop factor is 0.78, which gives us a focal length effectively of 39 millimeters compared to full frame, which is not very wide, but it's a little bit wider than a 50. So it's a little bit easier to get everything in the picture but as you'll see from the from the photographs that I've taken that there's not a lot of information on the photographs they're only a small piece in the center is in focus and it goes out of focus very fast and the edges are very blurry so it's more artistic than uh, than most people might want but it's a, a a fun vintage look to the image okay uh, I know a lot of people enjoy Lomography, the Lomo camera, which is a plastic lens. That's probably going to be better than this. This is pretty ba pretty bad lens. What's nice about this is that it actually has a spare, a place for a spare roll of film. So you can put a roll of film in here, and then the roll of film you're using, you put it in here. So then you wind this across, and then you start, you run the film that way. So inside is a second roll of film, which is pretty handy. And wind it until dot one. All right, turn it over. Wind it till you get the one in the other window. Okay, right there. Take your shot, and then wind it till you get to two in the first window, and so on. When eight hits your final window, this is your last shot. Take your last shot. All right, now when you're done, wind all of the film and paper onto the take up spool. You'll see it go in there. And now you're done. Now you can take the film out and take your film to your local developer or develop it yourself if you're so inclined. Since it's a half frame, it splits the frames and it splits it kind of awkwardly because you'll see there's a lot of overlap in the two images. Now I was very careful to line up my numbers on the on the windows, very careful to do that. But still, uh, these photos are overlapped quite a bit. Let's take a look at the images. In summary, I'd say if all you're looking for is a very small print, either contact print or, as it says, 3 by 4 inches, this camera will work for you. But otherwise, I'd say this camera is best left on the shelf. And please click the like and subscribe button to help support this channel. Thanks a lot. Now get out there and take some pictures.